Justin here today we're checking out the solo from Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran it's a beautiful D major pentatonic bass solo let's get to a close-up and check out how to play it Okay, one more time, a little bit slower here for you. Two, three. So we start here barring with the first finger at the 7th fret covering strings 4 and 5 and then we hammer the 3rd finger down in the ninth fret of the 5th string. Then we do the same thing in the middle 2 strings, 3rd finger of course hammering down now on the 4th string and then we play the 7th fret 2nd and 3rd strings still barring with the first finger and we play that twice, that'll be down up, so down, hammer, down, hammer down, up. The count is two, three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Okay, so three, E, and a, four, E, and a. The second bar is a bit of a country classic lick, this one. We start with little finger down the tenth fret of the second string, third finger, or second finger, but I tend to use third finger, the ninth fret of the third string, and we do a tone bend while leaving little finger where it is. And then we bring it back down again and play it with just this little die out of those two notes. You, of course you'll need to mute it when it's at the top before you play it down. You don't want to hear. It's not that. It's then 7th fret to ninth fret hammer on 3rd string and then back to the 7th fret. So those first two bars. Then we've got the same riff as we had at the intro there, the middle two strings, seventh fret, and then hammering the third finger down the ninth fret of the fourth string, we do that twice. And then we just play the middle two strings there with the first finger at the seventh fret. We then play almost the same lick as the beginning, though. But there's a little rake into the first. So it's just a, like a long up pick just to get a little bit of noise, it adds a little bit of energy into it. Now we've got 2nd finger going down the 8th fret of the 2nd string, 3rd finger going down in the 9th fret of the 3rd string, and we slide that up 2 frets, so they're in the 10th and 11th fret, and we play the 2nd string again, with an up pick, so down, slide, up pick, then we leave 3rd finger where it is and slide it back to the 9th fret, but we play the slide. Flick it off to the 7th fret, play it again, and flick it off to the 7th fret. So that little line happens twice. That little... That's what happens twice. Now another classic country lick. Okay, barring the thinnest two strings at the 10th fret with the first finger, and hammering the 3rd finger down the 12th fret of the 2nd string. We do that twice and finish just with the one note, 1st finger, 10th fret, 2nd string. Now we've got an yet another little country lick. 
Okay, so 12th fret, thinner string, third finger, tone bend. Now, I'm, sometimes I swear I can hear this note in there, but the more I listen to it, I don't think it is. It's just my ears telling me it's there, but it kind of sounds nice to put it in there anyway. Then, first finger, 10th fret, thinner string, 12th fret, tone bend. So that lick. That note, if you're going to play it, just make it real quiet. Now we've got our little lick again, barring the 10th fret, thinnest two strings, third finger hammering on the 12th fret. We do that three times. Then we play just open. Then last time, very quick. And now we've got this other nice little. So we're starting with the first finger in the 9th fret, second finger in the 10th fret. Um, sorry, first finger's in the 9th fret of the 3rd string, second finger's 10th fret of the 2nd string. We play those two notes together, hammer on the 3rd finger into the 11th fret, flick it off, and then slide the 1st finger back to the 7th fret. Very common kind of... Kind of those kind of style country licks. Anyway. Then we've got a little slide, 9th fret to 11th fret, and stopping on the 10th uh, fret of the 2nd string. And then we've got this nice little rundown of 3rds. So this is the 10th fret on the thinner string and the 12th fret of the 2nd string, we play that 3 times. Then we move 1st finger down to the 9th fret, 2nd finger goes in the 10th fret of the 2nd string. Three times on that again. Move the whole shape back two frets, three times on that. And now first finger in the fifth fret of the first string and the third finger in the seventh fret of the second string. And it's doing that three times. Let me do it one more time through with the count this time, the rhythmic count for you. Much easier just to listen to the original recording and cop it from that, but uh, it'll also helpful if you know where the bars are. So here we go for the count. So two, Three and a four E and a one and two E and three four one and two and three E and a four E and a one E and two E and a three four one and two and three four and one two three four one and two and three and four one and two three four triplet one triplet two triplet three triplet four and that's the whole solo so let's just have a little look at the picking hand in more detail it's mostly down picks so down hammer down hammer down up just on that very first bar Now make sure you realize that I'm muting there, so bend, mute, play it, mute. It's got real, it's got to get that bend, mute. It's that muting really makes a big kind of deal if without it, it just sounds kind of wrong. So you've got to get. And here, I'm just doing an upward rake from about the second string. Here, down, slide, up. I'm picking the second string. I'm holding the whole chord. Then slide, pick, flick, pick, flick. I think this is a really tasty little solo and a really good introduction to the major pentatonic scale. So if you're not so familiar with that scale, one thing you want to do, definitely check out box five and box one. Box five be the one that starts with a little finger on the 10th fret of the thicker string. Okay, and see if you can see the way that the licks come from the scale, all of this. It's all straight pentatonic. All of that's box five, then 
We move into box one. Okay, just for that bit. Then we've got a little transitional lick that moves from box one to box five. The only part that's different, little major scale parts at the very end. We do, again though, it's a real classic lick if you're playing a song in D major to use that little run of thirds at the end. It's really good fun. So I uh, hope you enjoy playing this solo. I look forward to seeing some videos of uh, you guys playing this solo. If you do one, make sure you let me know in the forum or in the comments below and I'll go and check it out. I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.